hello everyone i am back with another video and i am so excited for today's video because it's my home tour already i'm ready to show you my place it's just a studio apartment and i've tried to clean up everything so it wouldn't be too embarrassing to show you guys so i've done cleaning up the bathroom the living room the workspace area my kitchen <laughs> and i am so excited to show you everything now um i am not going to name where my furnitures are from or not all of them because um i'm in dubai we don't have target here ross or home goods or whatever we have ikea but um i'll try to tell you if it's from ikea or not and then i have a few pieces here that are second hand so I hope you enjoy this video or this tour with me and also what I like most about this apartment is the layout. It's so big for a studio and I like the location because I'm living in one of the most affordable um, areas in Dubai and the location is great. Mostly um, there are trees outside. I can even see parrots outside my window by the trees and the rent is cheaper than most um, studio apartments around Dubai. And uh, what else? I love everything. I love how spacious it is for me and my cat and um, what i there's only one thing that i don't like about this apartment it's the grouts on the walls of the kitchen the bathroom and on the floor so because i have tried my best to remove them and i think it's time for me to call in some professional help so without further ado here is my house tour of my studio apartment i hope you enjoy thank you bye so just outside my door, this is the hallway and we've got a window here with a view outside. Right next is the garbage room and what's next is my apartment door already. So this hallway here gets cleaned like every once or twice a week. And now let's go inside. Welcome to my kingdom, <laughs> my apartment. So, upon entering, what you will immediately see is a square box here on the side, this one. It's the fuse box to my apartment and it looks pretty ugly once you enter. So, I've decorated it with a magnet sheet and put some magnets for my travels. So, it would look much presentable and cuter. So right by the door, I have what you call a ginkan area, like the Japanese, where you leave all your shoes, your outdoor shoes or slippers. So that, um, that's why I have this here, my indoor slippers. So I can change right away. So I can put away my shoes on my um, shoe closet. And uh, on this side, I have a big wardrobe plenty of storage for one person and I used it to the brim <laughs> um, this one here is my shoe closet so I've got my sewing machine on top my sandals and my flats and my sneakers on the bottom three and my boots so I've got a lot of sneakers because these are what I usually wear to work. We dress casually at work. So on this side is my linen closet. I've got a few bed sheets, towels, extra pillows. And down here I have three drawers. So first one holds my pillowcases second one kitchen towels at the bottom are my socks so it's just nearby my shoe closet and moving on to here this closet holds my winter clothes and my winter backpack for traveling so my coats are there down here is an extra comforter 
and my skirts and my shorts and some gym clothes even though i don't go to the gym <laughs> so this is the entryway and now to the opposite side i have a storage unit here and on top i keep these stuff like this um, board here that i use to actually really cover the switch to the water heater and the bathroom lights see it's a secret and i have a fake flower here i tried to cover this phone that's used to buzz in any visitors i'll have from downstairs a painting from Irwin of adidas because i'm a fan of adidas some random chinese stuff i'm not chinese or anything you know what those are um, or if you know <laughs> and a coin purse there with some change for delivery guys tips and random stuff here my i'm a cat owner so lint remover and some umbrellas and down here um, i covered it with some sort of a curtain because it's a mess it's like a random stuff of painting supplies for walls and furnitures so moving on to my bathroom this is the flooring that i don't like because it doesn't match the black countertop but it's quite spacious so it looks um, tidy from this side so let's go inside and i have a corner here with a fake plant you'll see that a lot around the house a few or plenty of fake plants that's me hi with my rob pattinson shirt <laughs> so on this side is where all the mess happens not magic so i've got a few hand towels there and wet tissues for me and my cat lotions oils and dental care and my sink and below the sink is my cat's litter and uh, my laundry basket and over here is my shower curtain this is my shower area and the tub my shower supplies are there scrubs brushes and all i have an inner um, shower curtain that i removed so i need to replace it soon and i've just recently cleaned this uh, bathroom that's the best i can do if you see any grouts i've given up <laughs> now enough of the bathroom let's go outside back to the entryway so you see these um you see this uh, long rug so when chica does her business inside she can walk here and at least wipe her pause going back to the main room this is my door to a storage room i'm quite lucky i have a storage room i don't want to show you the whole thing because it's quite a mess but i'll give you a clue i am doing a project for this room that's why there is a K-pop star there, Minu from Winner. And on this um, door itself, on the door handle, I hang my shopping bags when I get home. I also hang my bag there from work. And I have a beautiful keychain here. Thanks, smell. Okay, I have another storage unit here. Because I'm a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> And I have a box here where I put in my keys, my shades, or any stuff. When I get home, I just put it there. And a picture of Chinkatari when I was there. And I have a cork board here for some schedules and mementos. A lovely note here. Thank you so much, whoever gave this. And a family pic or family pictures I need to update. Because they're all grown up now. And my air condition controller is there. Some switches to the kitchen. Lights and all. My clock. And a mop. So. This is how it looks like. 
I actually like this area. I just have to clean out those um, or clear out those stuff down there. And moving to this side, let me explain about this um, clothes hanger in the middle. I put it there um, on purpose. So when I'm on my bed, I can't see the kitchen. And when I'm in the kitchen, I can't see the bed. So it sort of serves as a divider from the bedroom space or my sleeping space to the dining area and the kitchen. And right here is where I hang most of my work bags and the clothes that I would wear for the following days at work. I have my cat scratch pad there and my weighing scale. I don't weigh myself in the bathroom. And I've got this scarf here, which was given to me when I went to Nepal as some sort of a blessing. And this jacket here I've taken out to remind me that I need to lose some weight for me to be able to wear it again. And this is my cat's house, her tower, and that... Um, brown thing there was a big mirror which fell off so it broke and i only have this mirror now a full length mirror in the house so on this cupboard my jammies are there i have a storage for my accessories like i don't have enough my shirts for going out and my house clothes and my scarves down there so i really need to get rid some of my clothes soon because i still have plenty here on this side most of them are my work clothes tried to arrange them in color and i hang all my sleeveless tops as well and my bottoms are here jeans dressy pants I have my Peace Minus One hat here. Hi, G Dragon. Welcome back to the real world. So, I have a few collection of hats. And now let's move on to my vanity corner. So, I have a plant there. Of course, it's fake. <laughs> and a big mirror here. This is not a proper vanity desk, it's just the top of my drawer that I use as a vanity. So I hold, uh, or it holds my perfume, creams on top. And the drawers here is where I keep my intimates. And the top drawer I use to store my makeup. I don't have a lot, but I really need to clean this out. And here is a DIY project. It's from an old dartboard case of an old dartboard that I turned into an accessory storage. Accessories that I don't wear nowadays. So I really need to get rid of this. And down here is my bedside table where I keep my diary, a notebook, my winter album, and in that drawer i keep all my <clears throat> sorry my medicines so this is my bed my pillows underneath i have a storage there that holds mostly empty cardboard boxes so i got this bed from the teenager section of um, home center and moving on to my living room, I have a two-seater sofa I got from Home Box, not Home Goods. And here, I have an old laptop I connect to my TV where I can watch YouTube. There's my channel. Please subscribe. And if we look down below, I have a painting here from a friend, Erwin. And at the back is mostly some wires charger for chargers and stuff and this tv stand is the second hand i painted those same color 
as my accessories um, storage so and i've removed the doors to these cupboards so i can put some display items more owls there this is an owl lamp that i don't normally turn on and to this side i have a few candles another painting from erwin and that's me during a friend's wedding two years three years back now and uh, i have a big painting here this is from erwin it's not mine he ran out of storage space in his studio so i'm keeping it for him and i don't um i didn't hang it on the wall because this is a rented place so and i prefer my walls to be bare and that's a real plant there would you believe it or not and this picture i like because it reminds me of me choking chica and a few owls there more owls down and a clip painting but of cats and i've got the biggest owl in the house and the heaviest this one it's a stool so if you see some of my previous um videos i have that for a background that corner there so i just sit on that stool so there's spot chica if you can find her <laughs> and i have big windows so i like it because it's really so bright and sunny just like outside but the weather is colder now there she is that's one of her favorite spots so this is my coffee table i've got those hands from h&m and then this rug is not fluffy if you can't tell it's plastic i prefer this so my cat won't destroy it and she likes it better too if you see some random stuff on the floor it's just my um, cat's toys and this is my study area my workspace so right on top here are more decors more owls and this cabinet here another storage unit is where i keep my <gasps> Uh, phone and my filming supplies and on this side i have stacked some books so i can elevate my lamp i have an altar there with a few collection of my crosses and this one's another accessory storage unit <laughs> and i've been meaning to paint this thing white soon i'll be able to do that and this one is where i put all my um owls too many vlad right too many so i'm planning of clearing out this space so i'll have more working space i've just extended it with a glass top that i got from an old cupboard and right here is mr owl and he sits on this nice wooden chair that's also um leather cushioned i really like this chair and so this is my workspace i have a plan for this area soon too now moving on let's go to my dining area so and this is my kitchen it's quite spacious for a studio i'm really lucky it's one of the things i love about this apartment so that's my dining area my bench and mismatched um chairs and the wall is bare before but i decorated this this is diy fake copper planters that's just made out of drinking straws that i painted in copper spray painted it copper and this is my centerpiece i don't eat fruits nowadays so 
I leave it empty and over here is another big window if you notice there's a cushion on the floor because it's one of Chica's favorite spots as well some birds used to hang out just outside so that's Chica's favorite place and this big boy here has been with me more than any of my ex-boyfriends so i've been taking this washing machine with me since uh from the previous apartment and i've got my corner here for my mct oil coffee tea flowers and i have a shrubbery here of fake flowers <laughs> and my kettle is there for um and my Nutribullet also, so I make coffee and tea on this side or smoothies on this side. And Chica also has her um, space there. She's got her drinking or water ball there. And nowadays she eats on this area too. So I have a clock and another candle there. And this is my cooking um, appliances. Yeah, because it's two. I have this handy mini oven. And on top is a two burner hot plate. Because I don't have a proper stove. I'm not, I normally don't cook before, but nowadays I'm using this two so much and i hide this um extension wire at the back with this tissue holder and my baking stuff are there and also this tray hides my water purifier and my kangen or enagic machine so this is my sink i try to keep it clean and dry and tidy and this is my dish rack, which or drying rack, which I think is too big for me. So I want to replace that soon. And on these cupboards, I keep my plates. I don't know why I have a lot. If all the way to the top are some of my um, food containers. I don't know why I have a lot for one person. Thumbs down. So one of the things I need to declutter soon and then this is where I hold my oils and rice and my cooking supplies herbs and spices some more flowers and I don't know why I have a lot of kitchen stuff when I wasn't or I don't even cook before I even have plenty of kitchen utensils have spoon and fork and chopsticks down there sandwich bags foils cling wraps and all and my pots and pans down there and to this side is chica's pantry her food supply and down there is the laundry supply and right here it's such a mess my cleaning supplies are in there and here are some of the Nutribullet parts and baking dishes and whatnot and so this is my fridge and up there i have more things to declutter my slow cooker toaster and rice cooker in that bag i keep my disposable bags that's there for a purpose to remind me not to eat or to eat healthy and i have to show you this it's just an autograph from stan smith himself when he came to dubai a few years a few years back so this is my freezer i've got some frozen goods there and plenty of ice cubes and ice cream 
<laughs> no, that's my food waste container. So I segregate my food waste from non biodegradable waste, and there's my stash of carry gold butter grass fed so down here uh make i make sure that my fridge is packed well these days so i've got a lot of leftovers there and even some of my beauty products are there but the good thing is i've got plenty of vegetables so i guess that's it this is the whole apartment i'm not sure how my apartment is designed it's definitely not scandinavian so please comment down below what you think or how my apartment is designed it's not contemporary or bohemian or edwardian <laughs> okay so this is the whole place the whole way going out my bedroom space living room and my cat wants to say goodbye now thank you very much for watching